what you know I want to go back I always think of the fact that hope is your middle name literally um, but what gives you hope? Or maybe let's not inject, let's but, not force but, you. But let me ask you a question. You. you asked a great question about Washington not learning the lesson. And, yeah. And really, capitalism not learning the lesson. I think it's two things. One, the urgent crowds out there important. Like, we know financial literacy is important. I think it's a civil rights issue of a generation. You and I have been talking about this for over a decade. But it's not taught in school. Yeah. I mean, where did I, get, where did I become an entrepreneur? In middle, I'm sorry, elementary, where I was taught financial literacy and home economics. We know this is important, not just to the, the young black strivers, but to single parent yeah. white women and to white households in rural America and middle class households of any race, but no one's teaching in school. So it's, it's important, but it's not urgent. The urgent crowds are the important. There's so many other issues like yeah. that. There's nobody working on R&D, research and development, in capitalism, in Washington, D.C. It says, we're gonna make the ur take the important Make it urgent one day out of five. Rethinking capitalism. Rethinking, upgrading our software. The other thing is, and this is a President Bill Clinton quote, it's hard to get somebody to agree to the truth and the lies paying their paycheck. That applies to so much stuff. That why, apply why, a lot to Washington right now, you think? Why, why are the fringes of both parties selling wolf tickets, saying things that clearly are not true? The election was stolen. Come on, knock it off. We know that's not true. Everybody knows it. Who read a book knows it's not true, but it rallies, uh, it riles people up who are not educated, not not doing their research, who may be already frustrated. They're going to send a twenty-five dollar donation into that politician and say, "Now I'm with you." So that politician knows to get the fringes. You think the Democrats are doing the same both, thing? Both do it. Both the the radical Democratic Party, the radical Republican Party, are both playing this game. It's more vicious, in my opinion, on the radical Republican side, but it's wrong because it doesn't solve a problem. Yeah, we're not problem solving. I didn't want to get you off track with your question. But I really no, no. I think it's like an important. It gets us back to the core, which is so many of these decisions are policy decisions, right? The decision to save First Republic is not a market decision. It's a decision made by regulators. But overridden by politics, overridden by public sentiment. Oftentimes, the public of court opinion overrides the court of law or the court of common sense. What we need now is a radical movement of common sense. That's what this country needs, a radical movement of common sense. The radical middle is what most of us are, but we're not being represented by anybody. So next conversation we have, we're going to talk about the radical middle and how you develop that. And that's how you grow this economy. Yep. That's how we grow GDP. This country has been is sustained by a, a middle class that has expanded since World War II. And if we don't, if we don't make that bet, if we don't find a way to, to fill that bucket with more middle class people coming from the bottom into the middle and looking at the top, so that people want to be rich, they want to be wealthy, they don't want to demonize, and they think they can do it. Then they think they can do it. I'll leave you with this: some of my friends, black, some liberals, say, "I hate rich people." My response: No, you don't. You hate rich people until you become rich. What you hate is a game system. So, they, so to the extent they believe that these folks here are not as smart as them, but somehow they got something that they couldn't, then that all of a sudden it's a rejection of this. But if we believe that if I work hard, play by the rules, do the right thing, learn how the system works, and I have a shot at success or failure of my own merit, that's the work of Operation Hope. Yeah. All of a sudden, I, I love it. Yeah. That's the dream that's we got to get That's what you back. do. I think that's what you do. Thank Good you. to see you.